morning, Bishop Gorman. I'm Cece Marsh. And I'm Kyla Akers. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. Today is Thursday, October 6th, and it's National Noodle Day. And guess what? The homecoming dance is in two days. Wait, two days? Yeah, it's October 8th. What? Oh no, I have to go buy a dress. You seem really unprepared, Kyla. Well, do you even know what homecoming is? Isn't it just about football? Nope, you're wrong, but it's okay. Good thing Lillian and Gia can inform us on what homecoming is really about. Roll the clip. It's homecoming. It's homecoming. It's homecoming. It's homecoming. It's homecoming. Like, what do you think homecoming is about? You know what, homecoming is just supposed to be a really good time with friends. I mean, it's just a movie, honestly, the whole night. Homecoming is about like the football season, how we celebrate when we win, and it's about fun and having fun with your friends, and yeah. <laughs> For W Riz, um, we have homecoming to celebrate the seniors and to have a fun night. Those answers were great, guys, but not quite the right answer. Homecoming is about coming home. Homecoming. It all starts when Mr. Gleach sends out the message of what the theme is. And then the week happens, and it's just fun. And for me, being an alumni, 99, um, on Friday, when all of the alumni come, uh, they do a tour and they have mass, and it's just awesome. They get to look in the, at their old yearbooks, and it's like this fun social thing before the uh, assembly, and it's just so much fun. It's so much energy. It brings back all of the memories that each year celebrating, but also just every year. Um, for me, homecoming is really about community, not only because I have a ton of family here, I had a ton of family attend Gorman and graduate from Gorman, you know, all the friends and family that are still connected to Gorman that are coming back for uh, homecoming, it's just really special and it's actually what makes Gorman really special. What does homecoming mean to me? Well, homecoming to me means time to share with your friends, meeting your friends again from way back in the years that you were here, and reminiscing about those that are no longer with us. And uh, it's just time to get together and be with the people that are here now, but reminisce about those that are no longer with us. Thanks guys, now I know homecoming is really about alumni, but do you know what I'm all about? Class pride. I wonder which class is the best. Let's check with Sophia and Alyssa to find out. What's up, BG? I'm Sophia Fio. And I'm Alyssa Gonzaga. And today, we're doing Clash of Classes. Homecoming style. Stranger Things edition. Let's get into it. So the questions are about Stranger Things, since homecoming theme is Stranger Things. So the first question is, what are Demogorgons afraid of? <laughs> <laughs> what are what? All right, we have an answer. Angelica. Fire. Fire. Correct. Uh, Correct. Question. Next question. Who is Nancy's boss and editor of the newspaper in season three of Stranger Things? Oh, that one's tough, you guys. <laughs> Nancy's boss, season three, Stranger Things. That's a stranger question. Bruce is incorrect. Just guess a name. <laughs> Tom? Tom. <laughs> Correct. Tom. Correct. Yay! In season two, what is the name of the arcade that the kids play at? Starlight. Wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh we got an answer. Charles. Alice Arcade. That is correct. <laughs> in season three of Stranger Things, what does Alexi demand he get in order for him to talk? What? Cherry Slurpee. Slurpee or Slushy? A cherry Slurpee. Correct. Yeah. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Last question. How many languages does Robin claim to speak in season three of Stranger Things? We say four. That is correct. Woo! Woo! 63. Go to five? Five languages. Wait, what? Five. Wrong. Oh. Four. <laughs> and the winner is Mr. Fiore! <laughs> like one. one. <laughs> uh. 
Wow, now we really know which class is the best. Cece, have you noticed anything weird about our halls lately? Yeah, our hallways have been pretty strange. Literally, let's check with Kareem and Ben for a tour of our decked out homecoming halls. What's up, BG? We've noticed a strange change in the hallways recently. Me, Benjamin Vosco, and me, Kareem Cradilla, are gonna check out all these changes. Let's take a look. Thanks guys, I'm so excited for HOKO coming up. Do you know what else is coming up? PSATs. Lucky for you, any of you taking it, Reagan and Angelica have more info. I can't believe the PSAT is on Wednesday. I have no idea what to do. I know, right? Good thing we have a PSAT <laughs> expert who can show you some tricks. Fifth one, study. Studying for the PSAT is one of the most important factors when it comes to preparing for the test. Taking 15 to 30 minutes to study at least three days a week before can lead you to success. Today. Make sure you take practice tests to get you prepared for what will appear on the test. Get enough sleep. Not now. A good night's sleep before the test is one of the most important things. You don't want to be sleep deprived the day of the test. Tip four, eat a healthy breakfast. Skip the questions you don't know and go back later. Never leave a bubble blank. It's better to guess than to not answer it at all. Good luck to everyone taking the PSAT. Now let's pass the ball over to Brayden for sports. Brayden? What's up, Gorman? Let's get the door down on sports. Started men's soccer winning 6-0 against Durango on Monday. Way to go, guys. And good luck in your game today against SECTA. Next up is women's soccer has a game today against football, and volleyball is playing against Silverado today. Good luck, Gales. Tennis went even on Monday with men suffering a loss and the women bringing home a big dub. Make sure to show up and cheer for them when they versus Clark today here at the G. Cross Country has an impressive back-to-back -back meets this week with the Bud Odea meet today and then Mealy going off to Seattle for the Nike Hole in the Wall meet. Finally, we have our big Hoko football game this Friday starting at 6 p.m. against Legacy. Be sure to show up and cheer for your boys on the field as they bring it home for homecoming. That's all I have for you this week, Gorman. Keep it real, BG. Thanks, Brayden. That was very cool. You know what else is very cool? The National Scholarship Merit Program. Here are our semifinalists. Hey, Gales. It's Abby Hartz. And as you know, there are so many talented people here at Gorman. We got a chance to see who our 10 National Merit semifinalists are. Let's check it out. Congratulations to our 10 National Merit semifinalists. It is a great honor for Bishop Gorman High School to have 10 students fit into that category. I believe it's the largest number we've had in quite some time. So I congratulate those students on their hard academic achievement and work that they've put in. And you should definitely be proud of yourselves. 
By the way, Gales, there's a new version of the Bishop Gorman School newspaper, The Lance, that will be out soon, so make sure to check it out at bghslance.org. Also, Gales, make sure you sign up for the up-and-coming Kairos and Quest retreats before it's too late to go. For those interested in auditioning in theater's annual musical, Fiddler on the Roof, workshops are Monday and Tuesday, October 10th through 11th, and auditions are Thursday through Friday, October 13th through 14th. Seniors, remember to meet at 7, 10 a.m. tomorrow in the baseball lot for the start of the parade. Make sure to bring your scooters or whatever you'll be riding with, and you will be given time to put it back in your car before school starts. We hope you all have fun at homecoming this weekend. Remember that there is a lock-in at the dance from 7 to 9 p.m. Have fun at this weekend and stay safe. That's all we have for you today, Gales. I'm Cece. And I'm Kyla. And, and this, this is, is your BGTV. BGTV.